Hey guys, welcome to the Manchester United News Channel. Subscribe to the channel to not miss any news, leave your like, and share, you are very important for the growth of the channel, let's go to the video. Manchester United Takeover Sheik Jassim and Sir Jim Ratcliffe are still pursuing a deal for the club with the Glazers undecided over what to do. Sir Jim Ratcliffe currently seems to be the frontrunner in the battle to buy Manchester United at the present moment in time. However, news of Sheik Jassim having a senior management team in place speaks volumes about the Qatari billionaire. He apparently still harbors hope of buying the club, with the Glazers yet to indicate a preferred bidder as the saga continues to rumble on. ESPN reported on Monday morning that Sheik Jassim and Ratcliffe both have management teams in place as they look to acquire the club. While this is expected of Ratcliffe as he is at the forefront of the takeover, it is intriguing that his rival has done the same. Sheik Jassim does not want to miss out on buying United, having long claimed to be a fan of the club. And news of a Qatari billionaire looking behind the scenes at the team suggests he still has every chance of success. Sheik Jassim has made four offers to the club so far, the latest coming almost three weeks ago. Sheik Jassim kept a low profile during the process, which explains the lack of images of the mysterious figure online. But there is a sense that sooner or later he will have to play the trump card to swing the takeover pendulum in his direction. Finnish billionaire Thomas Siliakis announced at the beginning of the year that he too was interested in consolidating power at United. Although Sheik Jassim is no longer running, he continues to huff and puff as he tries to seal the deal. If his bid is successful, he will invest in United, Old Trafford and also the local community in Manchester. And he'll also give Eric Ten Hag huge funds to use in the summer transfer window as well with the 53-year-old eager to add to his squad. The Dutchman wants a goalkeeper to provide competition for David De Gea, with the futures of Dean Henderson and Tom Heaton uncertain. A new right-back is being targeted despite the improvement of Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Diogo Dalit this season. Jeremy Frimpong and Denzel Dumfires at Bayer Leverkusen and Inter Milan have emerged as potential targets. United are looking to strengthen their midfield, with Mason Mount set to join Chelsea's dotted line. And the club is looking for a new striker. Harry Kane, Rasmus Hodgland and Victor Osimhen are being considered. Meanwhile, while Ratcliffe is United's chief purchasing officer, football finance expert Kieran Maguire recently expressed his concerns about the 70-year-old. He expressed his belief that the way the Ineos boss holds his assets could be a potential stumbling block. Sir Jim Ratcliffe's wealth has never been a distractor as far as his ability to fund a takeover is concerned, he told Football Insider. How his wealth is stored is a much more challenging issue, he's unlikely to have 5 to 6 billion pounds of cash in a bank account given present rates of interest. Liquidizing his assets will be much more tricky for him, should he choose to go down that particular route. If the acquisition is going to be done through INOS, then I suspect that they will use a combination of existing cash resources while also going to the market to fund the purchase price. Guys tell me who you think will buy Manchester United, it's well competitive, may the best win. Thank you all for watching, subscribe to the channel to not miss anything, leave your like and your comment that is very important for the channel growth. Until the next video.